Welcome to another quality install vid from your favorite peeps here at GK Tech. This time we're going to be going over and installing our Fresh AF Z33, 350Z, Z34, and 370Z solid transmission tripod mounts. And no, I'm not talking about that tripod your photographer friend just acquired. These Johnnies will arrive to you in a baggie similar to this. Feel free to attempt to wiggle as grand as Zach just did, but good luck. Upon opening the not Christmas Christmas paper, you will find four smallish black bushings. These units are made from 6061 T6 aluminum and that's about that. Now you may be asking yourself, where do these little love nugs go on my Z? Well, Nissan decided to make these CD series trans super long by providing you with this motorcycle seat looking shifter tripod. While these make shift nice and comfortable, the rubber bushings do deflect during hard driving and you want them shifts to be crispy, don't you? How else are you going to be able to set the speed shift record for a stock Z. Look at all that movement. Ugly. Enough about that, let's get to the install. Start by spinning off that shift knob, then popping up the shifter trim and disconnecting any wire harnesses you may encounter at the time. Get Santa's beard up and out of the way, then remove the four bolts holding down the shifter surround. This will allow you to get to the boot, the other boot, and possibly more boots, depending on what Nissan saw fit to put in there. Now remove the three shifter bolts from the top and casually roll underneath the car and move the rubber boot down there out of the way, revealing the shifter clevis bolt. Loosen and remove said bolt from said clevis and store it for later. Roll back up into the cabin of the car and remove the shifter from the bracket, not forgetting to snag the large spring. Roll back down under the car and remove the tunnel support bracket by zapping off the two bolts holding that thing on. Now grab a really strong and or patient friend, or more ideally some lumber and or driftwood, and brace the gearbox from the bottom to take some of the pressure off the gearbox mount. Now loosen and remove the crossmember bolts and safely lower the gearbox down so you can fit those man hands in there for the next steps. Grab GK Tech favorite tool number 314 and remove the lower bracket bolts. Gingerly loosen and remove the top bracket bolts using whatever yoga pose you deem necessary. Then remove the cage from the back of the trans and head over to your locally sourced press. Support both sides of the bottom of the bracket and find a socket that fits the inside diameter, then press that old bushing out. Make sure 100% to properly support the bracket each time as you are pressing in and out of some pretty thin aluminum and you do not want to break that, I promise. Now the bracket is naked and bushless, which its girlfriend probably appreciates. Comparing the two, using super technical terms, the OEM bush blows goats and ours is sick AF. Taking a closer look, the larger lip on the bushing should be facing the inside of the bracket and the smaller lip should be facing the outside. Carefully setting the bracket back into the press, line everything up and make sure it's pressed in straight, as pressing it at an angle could break it, which again, you do not want. Remember the larger lip goes inward. Once all four are pressed in, as shown here, get that sucker off the press and pop it up and around the D-shaft, then throw in the lower bracket bolts, keeping them hand tight for now, then grabbing the top bolts and threading those in hand tight as well. Tighten and torque the lower bolts to the specs shown on the screen, then move on to repeating that and torquing the top bolts to these specs as well. Have that strong and or patient friend lift the box back up and or just use a jack. Then install, tighten, and torque down the cross member bolts to the settings shown here. Now get that piece of driftwood and or your friend out of there, grab the tunnel brace, then tighten the bolts on both sides, finalizing them with the torque specs shown right here. Go ahead and go back into the cabin of the car and copy that big old spring back into the hole, then pop the shifter back in there as well. Now, roll back down under the car and install the shifter clevis bolt, tightening that down and torquing it to the specs shown here on the screen. Go ahead and slip that protective boot back over the top for protections and shimmy back into the car and install the three shifter bolts, tighten, and then torque them down to these specs shown as well. Now is the time to reinstall the plethora of shifter boots and accessories around the shifter that Nissan provided, then the surround bracket and the four bolts that hold all that shits down. Yes, you guessed it tightening and torquing them to the specs shown here. Ring toss Santa's beard back onto the shifter, grab the plastic surround, clip all the electronicals back into place if you do want them to work, then press the surround clips back in, thread the shift knob back on, and that's that. 
No more comfort bay shifting in your purebred race car. Go ahead and enjoy those crispy shifts. These are them boys that make these videos happen. It takes a lot of effort from all of us to keep these going, so toss those thumbs up our way if we helped you in one little tiny bit. If you can't install these and or don't want to drop the rear end on your toe, please have a pro do it or reach out to us with any questions you may have via electronic mail. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, Josh, and Bushless Zach with another GK Tech How-To. Peace.